Many people may not know a favorite ride at a fair or carnival was invented right here in Pittsburgh, and I'm talking, of course, about the Ferris wheel. In today's Katie Spotlight, Katie K's Alexandra Todd takes us back in time. This year marks the 131st anniversary of the World's Columbian Exposition, and there are so many Pittsburgh ties. The organizers of the World's Fair in Chicago knew to come to Pittsburgh. It was the place of innovation, of invention, and can-do spirit, even in in 1892. The Columbian Exposition, better known as the Chicago World's Fair, was held in 1893. It celebrated the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival to the New World. President and CEO of the Heinz History Center, Andy Masick, says this was an opportunity to showcase the technology and creativity of a generation to the world. A Pittsburgh engineer named George Ferris, 34 years old, said, I can take the Eiffel Tower, put it on a pivot, and rotate it. People said, you can really do that? And he did. Ferris made a 264-foot wheel made of iron and put 36 railroad cars on it. Each railroad car held 60 people. It has now been a favorite attraction all over the world for over 100 years. Each of the cars on the Ferris wheel could hold 60 people and there was a conductor on each car because they didn't know how people were going to react to rotating almost 300 feet into the air. Another George from Pittsburgh, George Westinghouse, illuminated the entire fairgrounds with 250,000 lights. The Ferris wheel was so popular that when the fair closed, people didn't want the Ferris wheel to close and it stayed longer than the fair itself and then was disassembled and moved to other places in the country because it was such a hit. Coming off of the heels of the Olympics, where we got to show our pride for USA, we got to show our pride for Pittsburgh ingenuity in 1893. At the Heinz History Center, Alexandra Todd, KDK TV News.